So Farmland Advantage is a program that helps farmers to go above and beyond what they normally could afford to do in looking after the environment and looking after habitat on their land. So that that habitat can produce benefits like more salmon, cleaner water, and in this case flood mitigation. So it's a variety of things that they, it does. Through the piloting phase we've worked with hundreds of farmers, um, but we've just entered into this new phase where we're, we're working with the Investment Agriculture Foundation who's taken it on to run it as a program. And um, I think we're into around 50 sites or something. There was an amazing picture that was um, circulated by um, Chris Hadfield um, during the floods and it showed this tremendous plume of soil that was blown out to the Pacific Ocean sadly uh, during that time and it's heartbreaking to think of all the soil loss that occurred there along the river and, and the topsoil in the farmers fields too. So this type of intervention again prepares the area to receive those flows and, and it's, it's the natural way that the system evolved and all the species that depend on it like we talked about the, the endangered sailor sucker that we'll find here and the salmon species all those things depend on this healthy ecosystem to thrive. We're, we're partnering with Farmland Advantage as, as practitioners to be able to work with different agricultural landowners in the watershed and Im improve streamside habitat, wetlands along streams to protect both the stream and to improve habitat for the farmer. And as a farm, we've also improved some of the wetland habitat on our property as well. There was a lot of water that came down all at once the November floods and we uh, we saw the water come right up to the bottom of the bridge and flood out both banks and take out quite a bit of sediment and and scoured out a lot of the gravels so this area unfortunately was um, the salmon were spawning at the time so you know the coho and the chinook salmon were actively spawning and a lot of the eggs were spread around um, onto the banks but uh, thankfully the, the spawning was still occurring through November and December, so hopefully there was still enough active spawning that could happen once the floods receded. But yeah, it was it's pretty amazing to see the amount of water move through here. Beyond these streamside buffers that would be beneficial to protect the landscape is, is for um, careful land management and the upland as well, because the more concrete basically that is, that is laid out on the landscape um, the faster the water runs off and shoots into the river system. And so we need protection not just right at the bank, but basically on the upland surface so uh, that the water has a place to go and, and slowly filter through and, and trickle into the, the river rather than just rush off the surface and scour it out.